Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. There are two types of sunglasses. Those that are similar to goggles in which the reflection is wide and unbroken, and those with two separate lenses. Notice that the ones with two lenses most often have two separate overlapping reflections. In addition, these overlaps have different bends to their shapes, depending on how convex the lenses are and the position of the reflections in each lens. I'm going to show you how to replicate these types of reflections realistically, like the one you're seeing here. Here's the photo without the added reflection, and here's the photo we're going to reflect in the sunglasses. The size of this document is 1280 by 720 pixels, with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. The first thing we need to do is to make selections of the lenses so we can place the reflections into them. There are many ways to make selections, but for this particular example, I'm going to use the pen tool because I think it's the most accurate. Click on the pen and choose the pen tool. Then click on the inside of the left lens and make a path around the inside of it. I'll be doing a separate tutorial on drawing paths, but to save time, I won't be going over that now. Once you have the path drawn out, go to the Path tab and open it. Click on the Work Path thumbnail as you press Control or Command on a Mac. This will change the path into a selection. Go to Select and Refine Edge. We're going to feather the selection by 2 pixels and shift the edge in by minus 5%. We'll save the selection now, so go to Select, Save Selection, and we'll type in Left Lens. We're going to repeat the process for the right lens now. As you hold down the spacebar, click down with your mouse or pen as you drag the image to the left. As before, go to your pen tool and then this time draw a path on the inside of the right lens. As you press on the work path thumbnail, press Ctrl or Command on a Mac to change the path into a selection. Then go to Select and Refine Edge and as before, feather it out 2 pixels and shift the edge minus 5%. We'll rename this Right Lens. We're going to do a little organizing now. Shift-click Reflection and drag the two original layers into the new folder icon. We'll rename this folder Original. Then to protect these two layers, we'll make a copy of them by dragging the folder to the new layer icon. We'll hide the original layer and open up the original copy folder. We'll make the reflection layer active and we'll rename it Right Reflection for the lens on the right side. We'll make a copy of it by dragging it to the new layer icon and we'll rename this layer Left Reflection for the left lens. Press the letter V to get your Move tool and then click down with your mouse or pen as you drag the image to the left. Because the reflections in the sunglasses should have similar distortions as the lenses, we're going to apply a filter to the images, one for the left lens and one for the right lens. So go to Filter, Distort, and Pinch. The Pinch window comes up and we'll choose minus 35% which distorts the image by bulging it outwards, making a convex shape. If we were to change it to a plus amount, our image would do the reverse and become concave. The distortion isn't quite enough, so we'll repeat the distortion by pressing Ctrl or Command F. That's much better. We'll repeat that filter for the right reflection, so we'll hide the left reflection layer and we'll click on the right reflection to make it active. Since we apply the pinch filter twice on the left reflection, we're going to press Ctrl F or Command F on a Mac twice for the right reflection. That's the first one, and here's the second. Keep in mind your image may not need as much distortion. It all depends on the resolution size of the photo and the particular characteristics of the photo itself. With your left reflection layer active, open up the Channels tab and Control or Command click on the left lens thumbnail. That will open up that channel layer as a selection. 
Then open up the Layers tab and click on the Layer Mask icon. That will make the selection into a layer mask for the left reflection layer. Click on the chain link to unlock the image from its layer mask. This will allow us to move the image around inside the left lens of the sunglasses. Let's put in the layer mask for the right reflection now. Click on the right reflection to make it active and open up the channels tab. Control or command click on the right lens channel and that will make it into a selection. Click on the layers tab and then click on the layer mask icon to make the selection into a layer mask. Then click off the chain link so we can move the right lens reflection around. We need to resize and move each of the reflections. To do that, press Ctrl or Command T to call up the transform. We need to see the entire transform, so press Ctrl or Command Zero. To make our reflection smaller, go to the corner, click down, press Shift, and drag it down to the center. To move it around, just click anywhere inside the transform. I'm going to choose a nice round size for this. So I'll go to the top and change the height and width to both 70%. When you're done, to accept the transform, just press Enter or Return on a Mac. We'll resize the right reflection, so make the right reflection active, and then press Ctrl or Command T to call up the transform. Then go to the top and change the width and the height to both 70%, just like in the left reflection. Move the right reflection to a position that shows overlap of some of the images. You can see how the man in the front wearing the white cap is in both lenses, but he's distorted differently based on his position in each lens. Notice the man behind him is in the right lens, but only partially in the left. This overlap and their respective distortions give the reflections a sense of realism, as opposed to simply pasting the entire image into both lenses. It's a few more steps, but I think it's worth it. As before, to accept the transform, just press Enter or Return on a Mac. We're going to merge the left reflection and the right reflection into one layer. So press Ctrl E or Command E on a Mac. This window will pop up basically telling you that layer masks are being applied. So just press Apply. We'll rename this layer Merged Lens. Now that we've distorted, sized, and positioned each reflection in their respective lenses, we're ready to make them look as if they're being reflected off the sunglasses. To do this, we need to change the blending mode of the reflected images. Go to Normal and choose Hard Light. We'll adjust its transparency, so go to Opacity and slide it to an amount that has just the right balance. For this image, I think 40% works real well. Other blending modes do work, but I find Hard Light to have the best qualities for reflections and sunglasses. I think the extra steps we took to create a separate reflection in each lens definitely made the difference between something that's passable and something that looks like the real deal. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.